So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a shifter sprint script in Roblox Studio using user input service and then tween service to make the FOV uh, of the player's camera zoom in and out. So this can be done completely on the client side. So to do this we're going to make a script in the start player scripts first of all. You should insert a local script there. You can call it shifter sprint. And then we're going to make two variables of user input service and tween service. So local user input service equals game call and get service user input service and then local tween service game call and get service tween service and then we're going to make another two variables that are going to be the default walk speed of the player and then the faster walk speed of the player so if we go to the starter player here we can see the default character walk speed is 16 so if we can copy that or you can just write it out then if we make a variable called local default walk speed and then set that to 16 and then we can make another variable called faster walk speed and set that to 24. so now we need to have an event that fires every time a key is pressed and we need to determine whether that key is the key that's going to fire this function that's going to make the player walk faster or walk uh, at the default walk speed so how we're going to do that is we're going to have an event called user input service dot input began so then we can run connect function and then we need to set the input object so if you call that input object and now we need to check if this input object if the key being pressed down is shift or whatever key you'd like it to be so to check that you can do if input object dot key code is equal to enum key code and then whichever key code you want it to be so i'm going to keep mine as left shift and then then so we need to get our player first of all, so I'm just going to create a variable that's the player, just to make my life easier. So I'll set player to game.players.localPlayer. And then I'm going to change the walk speed, so the way I'm going to do that is go into the player's humanoid in their character and change it. So the way you can do that is type player.character.humanoid.walkspeed, and then we're going to set that to the faster walk speed. And now we've done that, that should make the player walk faster when shift is held down. And then when the key comes back up again, we need to make the player walk at their normal speed. So the way we can do that, it's another event, but this time it's input ended. So if you do user input service dot input ended or connect function, and then again you can take the input object, and then we're going to use another if statement. So we're going to check the input object dot key code is equal to the key code that we just set before. So again, we use left shift, then, and you can copy this code. We can write it out again, and then we're going to change it back to the default walk speed. So, now if we test the game, and now if I hold shift down, you can see I'm walking faster. And then if I take it back up again, I'm walking slower. Alright, so that works now. But again, it, it's not very immersive. You, you can't really tell when you're sprinting other than the fact that you're walking faster. So we're going to make it so the FOV zooms out, and we're going to use tween service for that. So, before, we're going to use the variable that we defined, which is tween service. And now we're going to create some information for the tween. So we call that info. We set that equal to tween info .new. And then this is where you determine all the factors about the tween. So how long it takes. So I'm going to set that to 0.5 seconds. Then the easing style. So you can use enum.easing style. And then pick whichever one you like. But I use sign because it's the smoothest. And then easing direction. Just set that to enum.easing direction.out. And then we don't want it to repeat, so that's all we need to do. Alright, now we're going to create two tweens that can be played. So the way we do that is make a new tween. So if you call that local zoom out equals tween service, colon create. And then the instance. So the instance we're going to be using is it's going to be the camera. So if we do game.workspace.current camera, which is going to be the player's camera. And then the information, which is the info that we defined here. And then the property table, so the properties that you'd be changing. So, what we're going to do is set field of view to 120, or whatever number you'd like it to zoom out to. Uh, the default is 70, so 120 is going to be quite zoomed out. And then we're going to make another one to zoom back in. So, if I call that zoom in, and then again, tween service call and create, and then again, game.workspace.current camera, and then the info, same as before. But now the property table, we're going to change that. So field of view, we're going to set that back to 70, which is the default. So now 
we need to say so when the player starts sprinting it zooms out so we can do that is just add a new line in this if statement and play the tween so the way you do that is just type zoom out and put one play and then we want to zoom in again here so if you just add them all into this if, if statement and then you can do zoom in colon play and now this should work fine so if we again test the place and there we go it zooms us out whenever we shift to sprint although that does zoom out quite a lot i recommend probably actually just leaving it at 100 fov but there you go that's how you make shift to sprint in roblox studio now, if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe because i like having big numbers anyways uh goodbye